Hi Aries, this is your singles love reading um, for the month of May or the rest mid-May. This will be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. I'm going to do a Celtic cross spread here for you um, to see if anyone new is coming in or what's going on in your love life at this time. If the past shows up, then I will have to address the past. But for now, we're going to take a look and see. And I do see somebody coming in here for you, Aries. Okay. Um, wow. All right. Hmm. Wow. Aries. My goodness. Um, I feel like the past position for you, Aries, is like a period of retreat, taking a break, renewal, recovery, solitude. Uh, maybe you were involved with someone who really wasn't talking or not communicating and you just let it go. That's for some, okay? But that's in the past. We're looking forward here to see who's coming into your life. There's a lot of communication happening right now, maybe from one person or a lot of different people, okay? This is passion-driven communication. Cupid's arrows, and it feels like it's coming in. There's news coming here for you, and it really is going to give you a new perspective on your spiritual path. Uh, you will have a sense of enlightenment through your communication with this person. A little bit of self-sacrifice that you may have to make that you may not be ready to make or you know, it's a benefit for you, but you may have trouble with it. Um, or even to see a different perspective. Okay. Um, but let's get a clarifier for, oh, okay. The eight of wands, Whew. the end of a burden coming into balance and harmony here. Some of you are meeting your other half. Okay. Divine timing. There's communicating. You might be communicating right now with someone. Um, there's peace. There's a sense of peace to be felt in this communication. Somebody might be communicating, telling you how much they admire you or how wonderful you are. A lot of, a lot of passion, a lot of creativity associated with this. There's some changes happening here in your life. Okay, and, and like no longer a burden. This person does help relieve whatever struggle you have had. I think you had a lot on your plate and this person kind of brings things into harmony. You both come in like there's harmony here. Are you overall are free from something and you're feeling this energy through a lot of communication? Okay. You're ready for love. Like that's what's driving you in your life right now. To express your emotions and express how you feel. Okay. But you don't want anyone. You're not interested in just anyone. You want someone who. You're being selective. Your thought process being selective, but I see you having, um, someone come in here who's on the same level as you. Okay. On the same path, on the same page and you and this person are being brought together through divine intervention. Does it mean it's going to be a full out committed love relationship? We'll see as we keep going. But I feel like you're ready to offer and receive. Now, the Knight of Cups is, this is kind of like prince or princess charming, very romantic, um, perhaps a romantic proposal coming in. You may be a little indifferent um, because I feel like you want to make sure um, what you want. You know, and you're kind of looking like, is this, a, you're looking a gift horse in the mouth, in the mouth, okay? This is kind of like a surprise. 
it hits you in the head, like your crown chakra, which represents having like some insight. You start to see this as a gift being offered to you. So there's like an exchange happening here. You want to offer back after receiving. Now you have a king of cups coming forward for you, male or female. Um, this is someone who is very nurturing, um, healing, supportive, a supportive leader, someone who's tolerant, empathetic. Um, now, if it's a female, they're a bit more open with their emotions, but if it's a male, they're a bit more reserved with the emotions, which is fine. Isn't that the way? Um, but I feel like this person is not... Like, they're going to show up towards the end of the month at, very symbolically. Right now, there might just be communication, but there may be an opportunity to connect with this person. So, you know, this is mid-May going into June, of course. Um, there may be an opportunity where you'll see this person. Let's get a clarify card. Oh, okay. So, King of Cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Death card is Scorpio. Okay, so they might have Scorpio in their chart somewhere. If they're not uh, a water sign, they come in with that element of water where they show the emotional side of them. Okay, but this person is going through a major transformation and change in their life. Perhaps somebody could have passed away or an, a relationship may have ended. There's like an ending and big changes happening and they're moving on from that. There's a rebirth happening here for this person. Okay, they have the Six of Pentacles. They're in a, they're in this, um, you'll notice that they're in this very giving and receiving type of energy with you. They want to help. They're very generous. They come across as very generous. Maybe they have children. They're taking care of their children, but they have a give back energy. Okay, your advice here is to be positive. Get out in that sunshine soak up some vitamin d okay this is we do have leo energy pisces taurus another aries um sagittarius twice leo twice oh <laughs> that's your sign <laughs> okay so your advice here is you know be in a place be in a position of being open and saying yes okay have that success mindset going through the rest of this time period i'm seeing material happiness look at that as well let's take a look and get a clarifying card here oh okay three of cups that represents having friendship celebrations and a circle of support it could be dating Okay, um, but mostly it's just a, could be a reunion or coming together for like happy hour or connecting. Reach out. I feel like your, your message here is to socialize, be positive. Um, reach out, socialize with the person who's coming in in your life. Um, they seem like a blessing to you. Um, this person, though, whom I was just talking about, they sit here with the strength card. They're very courageous. This person comes in as being pretty brave. They have self-love and they also have unconditional love and self-respect, okay? And they offer unconditional love. Look at how this person here on this card is taking care of <laughs> this lion. They may be like a dentist. You might meet them in a, sitting in the dentist chair. <laughs> but this person will encourage you to speak in some way. I'm not exactly sure how that would resonate for you. Um, I feel like the way this person... They're not someone who comes in as very controlling and will tell you what to do. They're more like if they want you to do something they use gentle persuasion so they're non-offensive okay non-offensive type of energy 
you here though your hopes you have the ten of cups so you really are looking for or hoping for like family contentment total love and support okay in your life i feel like that is something that you hope for maybe you are fear-based and you fear that you won't have that with someone but it is something that you hope for okay maybe to get married be in a committed relationship happy though like it's not just committed it's like the whole nine yards right it's it's just complete joy and happiness with the ten of cups and having a partner in crime maybe children or to have like um a family connection now your outcome is beautiful so you've got the king of wands he could be connecting with another fire sign as i said but i feel like you're taking on a huge leadership role and i do see with the hierophant um conformity but in a good way okay traditional type of a relationship with someone um these are conventional expectations, you know, um, and it's a spiritual connection as well. I want to get a clarifying card. I'm going to look also at strength to see a little bit more about this person. Oh, okay. This might be a work connection. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles represents like skill, craftsmanship, but it's um, also an energy of like... Um, you know, in, enjoying work and employment. So this person, you might work with them or um, this person very much is, is very work focused and likes to build and create and master things. What else can you tell us, Spirit? Oh, the Two of Cups. And they're also looking for a romantic kind of a connection or a loving partnership you know loving a loving partnership doesn't always have to mean romantic but a healing connection two people who come together and exchange their cup and celebrate their uh their union okay it's kind of like friendship set on fire and it's a very beautiful usually on the two of cups we have the caduceus and that represents a healing connection and this person i feel if you haven't already met them um, they will feel that with you, some type of camaraderie. Um, if you've already met this person, they're feeling it right now. Let's take a look at the Hierophant. Okay, oh gosh, this is a wish coming true for you, Aries. This is everything that you hoped for in a person. I don't know that you were fully satisfied in the past, but the Nine of Cups is wishes coming true and good health, good emotional health as well. Maybe even material abundance. I mean, it just feels so magical, this connection here. One more card for the Hierophant, please. Oh, the High Priestess. So with this card, this would represent Virgo energy. The high priestess is mysterious, intuitive, trusts themselves. And this is also you. But I feel like this connection, the wish coming true about this connection is that for some of you, it might be a private connection for some reason. There might be a, um, a secret uh, wedding kind of thing. If that doesn't mean like, you know, in June, but it could mean at some point or at some time. You know, the high priestess on the scroll in the, in the um, original deck, it has the words tarot written on it. Okay, so maybe you are a tarot reader. Um, maybe the other person you meet through this or you're listening you know you're listening to a lot of tower readings trying to figure out you know who your other half is this connection is like 
very spiritual extremely spiritual connection and it's very beautiful i want to get another card for the high priestess okay king of pentacles okay virgo taurus capricorn energy okay but it's, there's stability here okay with the other person like i said male or female it does not matter there's stability there's business there's investment there's an out come of resources here okay so it feels like this person brings to you an element of mystery and physical achievement which is very strange i'm not sure how to how that would resonate for you but I am seeing a very beautiful, committed, spiritual connection here with someone um, as more time goes by if you, of course, decide to keep moving forward with this person. Now let's take a couple of cards from the Angel Wisdom Oracle. See what other messages there are for you, Aries. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. Financial security for yourself and your family. Inheritance or retirement. Peace and contentment in life. Honoring family traditions. Pride in the family tree. And passing on knowledge. Okay, leaving a legacy. And that can be a card of marriage as well. Stability. A stable home life. Our home environment. See. Wow, you got your card again. The Queen of Wait. Did you have that before? Well, the King of Wands is here, but now the Queen of Wands. Brilliant, talented, independent. There is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself. Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. Actually, this card came out in the um Aries reading, love relationship reading that I just recently did for the next 10 days. So maybe this will resonate for you. The end of something and the beginning of something new. Let's get another card here for you, Aries. What are your other messages? Okay, you have the Page of Pentacles, scholarly, cheerful, dependable, mischievous. Time to get to work. An excellent opportunity presents itself. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships, and a new area of study. Okay, maybe some of you are starting an, um, a spiritual channel or some opening shop. Somebody's coming in to help you with that or finance that in some way. There's communication about this. What else? Of course, Knight of Wands, passionate, confident, charismatic, and restless. Events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused and a passionate relationship. Wow, I feel like that—that that really is just saying like you are in a you have a lusty and free spirited way about you there may be travel and creativity there's a lot of really cool things coming in for you for the next you know may through june and it, it's just so positive let's get a couple of charms to see oh look you've got the feather just like the plume in his hat okay and the plume represents passion and nobility so maybe you're noble or you do something <laughs> that you you have like an elevated status and you are attracting people to you something about you is very elevated okay somebody's name has an s in it and i'm also seeing a heart with a key here or a key with a heart and again with the color blue Okay, blue symbolizing communication from the heart, speech, expression, imagination, and freedom. And the, th the throat chakra, there's a message here for somebody to, 
you have the key to speak love into others or into someone and vice versa okay some of you might be listening to this and turning a key ignition car front door whichever or you will be seeing you know ask for a sign about what you need to do going forward ask to see a feather because i feel like you will see a feather and something about s's <laughs> three s's or an s in someone's name and if that resonates for you that's your message pink heart so pretty Are you eating, I just heard, I, well, I didn't hear it. I, I saw a vision of someone eating marshmallows or somebody likes marshmallows or a marshmallow heart. Somebody got a marshmallow heart or loves those, the strawberry marshmallow hearts. <gasps> wow, you have a footprint. All right, there may be a baby. Okay, um, this means take a step. You have to take a step forward, Aries. And somebody's taking a step forward for you. I'm feeling the, the Fool card. And I know a lot of people say the, the Fool card is Aries, but it's not. It's Aquarius. But Aquarius is an explorer. Okay, Aquarius is, and maybe you're connected with an Aquarius or there will be an Aquarius coming in, but Aquarius has that renewal, that hope. Um, they believe in miracles, uh, something about being in the spotlight as well. Um, has faith, they're very humanitarian, very truthful. But this feels like the fool, the baby, taking a step out, taking a risk, having that sense of freedom Okay, somebody might have like a baby footprint or something that was pressed into like a mold that they're, maybe you're just be thinking about this right now. Um, but this just feels like a newborn, you're, you're being born again. This is an, a rebirth of your, your energy and your light and your love and your soul and your passions and, and you're on fire here. And, you know, for some of you may not even, maybe you gave up in the past finding someone, you just wanted to be alone and at peace and boom, there's all this communication coming in for you and, and like something I don't know that you really wanted to do, um, but it's coming in and I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise almost like a surprise gift that you may not want to acknowledge but ask yourself why why would you not want love to come in why can't you have both okay so yeah that's your message i hope you enjoyed that aries um Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And um, follow the links below to purchase my Moon Pie Tarot deck if you're interested. You could also follow me on Instagram to get that. And uh, I will see you all very soon. All right, take care.